what's up guys welcome back to my channel i am temi banjo and if it's your first time here you are very welcome welcome to my channel i am a youtuber in lagos nigeria and i film content around weight loss food lifestyle market runs and so much more ignore the chicken have a bank <laughs> all right guys so today i'm going to be talking about weight loss apps the moment i realized that weight loss apps are very important i mean it was a long time i had gone deep into my weight loss journey before i realized weight loss apps are very important so today i'm going to be talking about weight loss apps that are very beneficial to your weight loss journey so if that sounds like something you're interested in make sure you keep on watching So before we go any further i would like you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed it is absolutely free nobody's going to charge you for subscribing to anybody's youtube channel but first subscribe to my own youtube channel like this video that means you should give this video a thumbs up leave comment sections in the comments leave comments in the comment section down below if you do enjoy this video or you have questions for me so today the first one i'm going to be talking about is the one i personally use which is called lose it and towards the end of this video i'm going to show you guys how i use the app how i input whatever i want to input there and how it works for me so the first one is lose it it is an app called lose it basically like a calorie counter and a goal setter like if you are moving towards a goal you can input that in your um app the lose it app whenever you are ready to eat your food you can either scan your food or type out your food on the um, app so you, the app is going to calculate your calories your macronutrients and whatsoever it is so for instance if you want to have 1000 calories in a day or 1500 calories in a day or you want to be on a calorie deficit diet you want to be consuming less than you are burning. I mean, you want to burn more, eat less. Just a calorie def deficit diet. You can also input that in your Lose It app. It is going to automatically calculate everything for you. Make sure you are going on the right path. Make sure your macronutrients are completely correct and so much more. Other calorie counters are my Life Sum and my Fitness Pal. Those two also are calorie counters. And I must mention that most of these apps are not free. There's nothing free, even in free town. Somehow, somewhere, somebody paid for it. So if you want the value, like you're looking for something that is really reasonably you know valuable to you to your weight loss journey you have to spend money you have to spend money on this um um apps so i must tell you it is not free even me when i realized it wasn't free it was too late apple had debited my account after the free trial <laughs> it was after then i realized that the app wasn't free but it was nothing too serious i think it was i, I just paid for one year it was about 1500 for a year or so or like I, I don't think it was up to 2000 naira for a sorry for a month rather for a month it was actually like 1000 something for a month so everything all together was about 14500 naira for one year so that's like um, you know roughly close to 2000 naira ish i don't know the actual amount i might put it on the screen if i am able to calculate it so after my free trial, I was debited for um, one year. So as I was saying, you have my fitness pal and life sum. Those two are also calorie counters, goal, goal setters, and um, you can input your workouts also in the calorie counter counting app. Like if you do a certain type of workouts for how long you did it, you can impute that and it will cal calculate how many calories you burned how many calories you have left how many calories you consumed for that day so those two work towards um reaching your weight loss goal another important app is um the app called zero i think it's called zero it's for fasting and if you're a person that you don't really know how fasting works like you're always you know confused about fasting intermittent fasting um alternative day fasting all sorts of types of fasting religious fast whatsoever there's an app called zero i downloaded the zero app for fasting but because i have in-depth knowledge about fasting i know almost everything about intermittent fasting alternative day fasting and you know any type of fasting it wasn't that useful to me also it is not free 
the fact that I, will, I will had to even pay for it was like i don't really need it so i just deleted it off my phone so if you download the zero app you have to pay for it it is an intermittent fasting app it teaches or it helps you know when to start fasting when to start eating it tells you what you can eat when you're fasting what you cannot have like it's just like your your fitness trainer right in your palm like it's in your hand right there all you have to do is like type whatever you want and you know it's going to give you your result it is a very very efficient app especially if you don't know what intermittent fasting entails or what it is about if you want to see my video about intermittent fasting where i have explained in-depthly or i've given in-depth explanation about the intermittent fasting please make sure you check out this video it is very 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 important you do check out this video it is in details and i will link it up there in the card so please make sure you check it out where i talked about intermittent fasting like i was explaining it to a five-year-old child so please check that out so that's it about the zero app if you want to know more about fasting if you want to track your intermittent fasting you want to see your progress just want to see how good you are doing your intermittent fasting and you definitely want to see good results please download the zero app and i've told you you're going to pay for it okay so don't be shocked the next app is called Fit Fitonomy. I think that app is for workouts. I have downloaded that once before, but obviously I had to pay for it too. But then I was I won't say it's all the apps you have to pay for. There are obviously there are obviously some free ones, but if you want in-depth assistance, like um you are getting like somebody to talk to you you have to pay for those apps they are very very important you download them so the fitonomy is for um workouts you input your workouts like you can even input your goal if uh, let's say you weigh about one 120 kg and you want to lose maybe 30 kg in like like you tell them when you want to lose it so you can say you want to lose 30 kg in like two months or three months which is very possible they will calculate how many kg you are going to lose in a day the kind of workouts you are going to have how many food you are going to consume the calories the macronutrients etc you are they are going to give you everything in details for the fitonomy so it's basically for um workouts if you want to like walk towards a goal like i mentioned earlier that is the app for you it will tell you what exercise to do how long you should do it the benefits of that exercise and you know just everything around the workout you are going to have but because me i i i, I signed up at the gym so i i'm always with them workout junkies so i'm always around them they tell me what to do and all i have to do is just i have my um, apple watch i input everything i'm doing in my apple watch so it calculates the calories burns my steps my heart rates my um you know everything that happens on the iWatch. it just calculates everything for me so i deleted the app again i couldn't be paying for more than one app it was not you know sensible for me or financially wise for me to do that so i deleted that app being that i could you know source the help from somewhere else so the last app is the running app this app is mainly for running there are many benefits to running if you are diabetic you will be told to run if you have high blood pressure you'll be told to run to you know reduce your blood pressure you will if you are obese you will have to run to lose weight especially if you want to go for a surgery you might have to lose weight by yourself first if you want to do like a gy gastric bypass if you what else if you want to even build later on and you are on the bigger side like me i want to build as i am right right now i want to build i had to lose weight first so i had to lose about eight kg before i had to you know start building so now the thing i do at the gym is um I stretch I'm digressing a bit I stretch I do my um, warm-up about 20 to 30 minutes on the treadmill I do my aerobics and then I start lifting and that's it so the benefits of running are enormous and because running is like the easiest of the and you don't 
actually need an equipment it's almost like the easiest workout to do you can just you know put on your when workout outfit wear your canvas or your trainers with your socks please always wear socks <laughs> and just hit the streets start running but here where i stay i cannot just be running on the streets it's somehow because of my neighborhood i run on the treadmill at the gym so if you want to run this app called running app is going to help you track your um, your steps it's going to track your heart rate it's going to track that means your phone has to be on you while you're running you might get the arm pouch for um running the one where you can put your phone so as your arm is moving it's going to calculate your um steps that you're taking your heart rate your calories that are being burnt and so much more your blood pressure i mean the benefits are so enormous but i will also mention that the apple watch is also able to do this okay once you wear your apple watch and you're running okay it's the same mechanism that happens with the um arm pouch on your phone with the running app that happens with your apple watch so if you have an apple watch you do not need to download this app all right so the next thing i'm going to do now is to show you guys how i use my own weight loss app the one called lose it how i input my food my goal it will ask for your gender it will ask for your goal what you want to achieve so for me i think i have to consume about 1000 and something calories in a day because i want to be burning 1500 calories a day which doesn't happen i burn about 900 to like 1200 calories in a day and i consume about 2000 or like 1500 to like 2000 calories in a day i eat just twice sorry i eat, <laughs> i eat just twice a day and i fast till the next day sometimes i eat once a day but my meals are always like bulky they're always heavy they're quite heavy you can check my instagram for my meals which i always post on my stories or in my highlights also i always make sure my breakfast is like the main the main you know very powerful very very rich in nutrients type of breakfast so let me quickly show you guys the um lose it up and how it works okay okay guys so this is my phone i, I just want this to focus my lose it app is here this is the app right here it's called lose it so i'm not okay let me zoom in a little bit so right here it says where i i added my weight go current weight 110 kg this was about last year when i wanted to lose like 10 kg so my weight goal is 90 kg and i have to lose like one kg in a week to reach my weight goal So right here what we have this looks a bit confusing even when i started using it it was so confusing i just had to play around till i got everything i needed so right here we have breakfast lunch and dinner like i said earlier i eat just twice a day so these are the dates where your food will show and i have to be eating under i think this is um i have to be eating under 1000 458 calories it's showing right here so i will come here for my breakfast and click on add breakfast so if i have my meal here i can always scan my meal there is a scan um button here yes this is a scan food item here the first one in the orange um lettering scan food item i can scan my meal and it will calculate my calories my macronutrients etc if not i can just come here and search for the food i'm eating i can come here and search so let me search and just write like four eggs because i'm on a high protein diet four eggs obviously i'm going to choose like the uh, large one so i have scrambled eggs let me choose scrambled eggs because they are fried eggs so that's about 280 calories and here i have the um, macronutrients listed here then i'll click on probably potato because i think this is what i had this morning potatoes boiled potatoes 
forty two. Mm, I have them. There are so many variety of potatoes here. There's sweet potato, mashed potato, chips potato. So you have to take your time to look for the potato you actually had. Potato salad. I had boiled potatoes. And I'm just looking for plain potatoes, white with baked. Okay, I can choose this one. So let me say I had about um, six. I'll add that to my breakfast. And I had one turkey. So I had turkey ring, just one piece. I will add that. I'm co I'll come here and add that here. To view my food um, calculator, I will come here this is where i'll see the total amount of food i'm having so right here this is a wheel of my macronutrients i have fats um, protein and carbohydrates no matter how i try to eat my high protein meal carbohydrates still you know tops everything off so i have here 57 percent of this light blue one is 57% of carbs. This here is fat. This is 22% um, and here is 21% protein. So I'll move over. These are my macronutrients. So my total um, calories for this breakfast is 1,595 calories. And I even made a mistake and added two turkeys instead of one turkey. So I'll minus, I can minus roughly my head. I mean, it's not that important. So this is everything that it is. And here is already showing that I've gone over. So right here is showing me that I've gone over my um, goal, like my limit for the day. I have gone over it which i ignore most of the time and sometimes i adhere to it so that is just how i use the app called lose it although this app has other benefits but for today i only showed you guys how i input my food because that is the most important thing i mean you cannot exercise a bad diet away you cannot lift a bad diet away your weight loss goal your fitness journey it has to do with your diet most importantly so you cannot just be going to the gym be running on your treadmill and be eating rubbish you will remain the same you will even add safe and for me because i'm trying to you know be bulk bulky i'm trying to bulk up and you know get some muscles get some toned body up as i am i don't think i want to lose any weight again i'm fine the way i am i am sweet the way i am okay I just want to you know get some muscle and that's it for me so i use this very religiously for my food every single time all right guys i think we've come to the end of this video i hope it was very very helpful you can ask for free apps like free weight loss apps but as i said they will not be as helpful as you want it to be you have to pay some money okay that brings us to the end of this video thank you so much guys for watching and you know if you have any questions for me make sure you leave them in the comment section down below if we've gotten to this point and you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel like i said earlier it's absolutely free please subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up that means you like this video it helps with the rating of my video also and i'll be sure to see you in that next one you're about to click on don't leave i mean keep watching more of my videos like i mentioned my um, intermittent fasting video make sure you check that out and also other weight loss videos that will interest you so until next time guys bye stay blessed and stay safe Mwah.